Assalamu alaikum friends welcome to lecture 4 FSBR today we are going to discuss IS2 inventories and in this we are going to go through three areas starting with initial measurements subsequent measurement and disclosure requirements most of the standards that you will see will focus on those two areas how do you initially measure and how do you subsequently measure it this most of the standards have this initial measurement and subsequent measurement and you have to know both the measurements and disclosure requirements sometimes we have for some standards um let me tell you that this is a very small standard and it's pretty much very small very easy standard to understand but the thing is easy standards are often not taken so seriously students often think that okay this is very small i mean nothing but sometimes if you see the past paper and the marking scheme, the examiner's comment, students often struggle in the smallest area. The easiest area only they struggle a lot. Because sometimes it can come as a mid, uh, more marks. For example, I used to is one such example. Okay. So everything is important. Don't take anything less important. Okay. So let's start with initial measurement. Initially, you measure inventory at cost. Now, what is this cost? Cost includes purchase cost, conversion cost, that means you have to convert to something, raw materials to finished goods, and any other cost that, uh, that is required to get the inventory into its current condition and location. Remember this cost, because sometimes in the exam, they might give you many costs and you might take everything as a cost and measure it. No, sometimes some costs are expenses, some cost you have to take it as a inventory. You have to add and that will be the amount of the inventory. That's why you have to very clearly know what is included in that cost. Purchase cost, that means how much you have purchased to get that inventory, conversion cost, and any cost that may that is required to bring its the inventory to current condition and location. If there are any other cost other than this, which is mentioned here, they are taken as expenses. You cannot take them as an inventory. Then let's discuss in detail what each of this cost includes purchase cost that means your purchase price less discount sometimes you get discounts on bulk purchases and all deduct that discounts and rebates if you have if there is any import duties for example you are buying that inventory that stock from outside outside the country so you have to charge you have to pay an import duty that import duty is also a cost of inventory you have to add it with the purchase cost then if any irrecoverable tax tax which you cannot recover will be included you will be adding it will be added in the cost transport cost again it will be added handling cost uh, it will be added and any direct cost added all these are included in the purchase cost then we have conversion cost material labor expenses all this will be there And the allocation of fixed production overhead must be based on the normal level of activity. Then we have abnormal wastage, storage cost, admin cost, selling cost. This are not part of cost which you are measuring your inventory. This are expenses. Okay, again go through the list. Memorize this list. Abnormal wastage, any kind of wastage which is abnormal are taken as expenses any admin expenses are expenses any selling cost are expenses selling cost admin cost they are not taken as part of inventory no the expenses charging profit and loss account storage cost also expenses then is2 allows two methods of arriving the cost of inventory see there's there are two methods which you can use to derive the cost of inventory according to is2 one is FIFO, that is first in, first out. The other one is AVCO, weighted average cost. Okay. What about LIFO? LIFO is not allowed in IS2. Okay. So don't mention about LIFO. It's only FIFO and AVCO. And you have to know, and this is not explained in SBR, how to value an inventory using FIFO and AVCO, but you should have an understanding of this. Maybe your uh, financial reporting knowledge will help you here and if you in case for God you better go and do some questions on FIFO and AFCO there's plenty of questions in Google if you search you will get because these are assumed knowledge from your finance uh, for SBR 
these are done in financial reporting in great like in depth you have calculations here but in sbr you don't have that calculations but you just have to know the theory part of it but you have to know the calculation part is an assumed knowledge so these are the two methods what is fifo what is uh, fifo that means whatever the inventory is then the first you use that price to value first it's like first whatever comes first you may me measure the when you are taking the price that is the price that you are putting first and weighted average cost is you take everything and take the average of it then we are moving to the subsequent measurement subsequently you measure inventory at lower of cost on net realizable value that's it for is to you have to know one initial measurement is at cost always subsequent measurement you have a choice what is the choice i mean not a choice but it has to be lower of cost and net realizable value that means whichever is lower if the cost is lower the net realizable value you value it at cost if your net realizable value is lower than cost you take it at net realizable value and this has to be done by line on line basis there will be 10 stocks all the 10 stocks has to be done separately you cannot add all the stocks and then do lower of cost and net realizable value no because every stock has different cost every cost has uh, stocks has net realizable value uh, different so line by line basis then what is net realizable value net realizable value are the proceeds like what are the proceeds that you are going to get from selling this inventory less any cost of selling that inventory like completion or selling cost that is net realizable value so in case directly in your exam they do not give you the net realizable value they might give you that once you sell this inventory this is the proceed you expected to receive this is the completion cost this is the selling cost so just take the cost and deduct it from the proceed and get your net realizable value and compare which has lower cost or net realizable value and take the lower of the two sales of the inventory after the reporting date okay if you have any inventory which is to be sold after the reporting date what does it provide this is a strong evidence that it's a net realizable value as at the reporting date that means you are more likely to take the net realizable value than the cost because net realizable value will give a low, lower figure in that case then when you are measuring net realizable value the standard says similar items to be grouped together assume that they are sold in the same market we, now we all know that not all inventories are sold in the same market but is2 is saying for measuring net realizable value similar items to be grouped together even if they are not sold but if they are similar group them together and then measure rather than separately doing it what about raw material because in inventory we have raw materials also inventory is just not finished goods it has raw material it has work in progress it has finished goods work in progress we are not talking about but finished goods we we told lower of cost and net real as well value what about raw materials raw materials are not written down below cost below cost you cannot write down raw materials only if the finished good forms a part of the uh, part of which will be sold at a profit okay that means part of it of the finished good okay the raw materials that you are going to use in the finished goods that means it will be converted and it will turn into finished goods right when you are going to sell it at a profit you cannot write down the raw materials below cost for that raw material where later the finished goods are going to be sold at a profit okay however a decline in raw material prices would suggest that their net real asset value has fallen below purchase cost if your raw material prices are reducing what does it mean your net real asset value will fall below the cost purchase cost so in such cases you can use the replacement cost of the raw material this you can use as a net real asset value the replacement cost of the raw material now disclosure requirements the third area how do you disclose you have to disclose the total carrying amount of inventory by category what do you mean by category when you go in a statement of financial position you write inventory work in progress 
raw material first you start with raw material raw material work in progress finished goods that's how you show inventory second way of disclosing is it details of inventory carried at net real as well value when you're carrying an inventory at net real as well value you have to give details now let us do a small question before i end this lecture because that's it we are over with is2 so in this question you have to value inventory according to is2 there are two questions one is a and one is b a says about raw materials costing 12000 bought for processing and assembly for a profitable special order since buying these items the cost of the raw materials have fallen to 10000 now you have to tell me whether it will be valued at 12000 or 10000 the raw material and think carefully because we have been studying lower of cost and net real as well value so one might say 10000 is lower than 12000 so 10000 but it's wrong the answer is 12000 12000 is the answer why see you have to know the reason in sbr when you choose a particular answer this or that you have to know the reason also you have to have a strong reason behind that from your standard only from simply from your knowledge of is2 this is why you need is2 to answer this why just now we went that we said that raw materials cannot be written down below cost if the finished goods will form a part of part of will be sold at a profit so this is for a profitable special order you're going to sell it for a pro profitable special order in this case you cannot reduce the raw material you cannot write down raw materials below cost so cost is 12000 that means it cannot go below 12000 this is the cost so 12000 is the answer what about b the equipment constructed for a customer for an agreed price of 18000 this has recently been completed at a cost of 6800 conversion with an extra cost is 4200 customer has accepted partial responsibility and agreed to meet half the extra cost customer has expected partial responsibility and agreed to meet half the extra cost that means half of this 2100 so what should you do here find the net realizable value first net realizable value what is the formula for it selling price what is it sale proceed is 18000 minus the cost right what cost extra cost that customer will accept just 2100 half of 4200 not the entire see this 16800 you cannot include do not go and deduct it from 18000 okay why because that is come already completed that just it's like a, they are giving this as a cost this is the cost this is not the cost to complete cost to complete and the cost is two different thing otherwise they would say cost to complete this inventory will be this much the 16800 is not cost to complete it is the cost of the inventory that means your net real as well value you have to compare against 16800 whether it's lower or not so once you do this what will be the answer it's 15900 and 15,900 is less than 16,800. So your net realizable value is less than cost. So your answer has to be 15,900. It should be written at net realizable value. So that's it. Now let us summarize what we have discussed in this lecture. We have started with initial measurement where we told that inventories will be measured at cost. And what this cost includes? Purchase cost, your conversion cost, any cost that, in, that is involved in bringing the inventory to its current condition and location. And any other cost like abnormal wastage, your admin cost, selling cost, these are taken as what? Even storage cost are taken as expenses. Then subsequent measurement, lower of cost and net real as well value. And if it's a raw material and if finished good is a part of a profit, you're going to sell it as a part of a profit. You cannot write down it below cost. 
for raw materials specifically and then we went through disclosure requirements which i didn't include here that means you disclose inventory by category the carrying amount of inventory like raw material broken progress and finished goods how you give details of those inventory where you have recognized it as net realizable value so that's it for this lecture this is a very short and sweet lecture and very easy also to understand so make sure that you go through your revision kit now itself and big questions where is2 is there so till then thank you for watching and see you in the next lecture and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel